Well, there's a new pilot program that's coming to Chesterfield County this fall. It's the first of its kind in Virginia, and the school board is set to receive an update later today. We are joined now by Caroline Colburn and Caroline, tell us more about the Chesterfield Recovery Academy as well as the questions about it that still need to be answered. Well, Robin Reba, one of the questions we still have right now is how students will get to the school. So transportation, because the school is open to anyone who lives in Region 1, which includes Petersburg, Colonial Heights, Henrico, Richmond. So that's one of the questions we hope we get answers to at today's Board of Supervisors meeting. Now, in less than one week, officials will officially hold a ribbon cutting at the academy that's going to be housed at Chesterfield's Career and Technical Center. 25 teenagers who've been sober for at least 30 days will attend the academy, and it's part of a pilot program and funded by the Virginia General Assembly. Republican delegate Carrie Coiner proposed the bill that paved the way for the school, and she says she learned of the need when she was on Chesterfield School Board. She talked to the former sheriff about the issue of kids starting their addiction in middle and high school, and the academy is going to give them a safe space to continue their schooling while also receiving counseling services and support from classmates who are going through that same recovery process. I saw some, some various um, concerns on Facebook from parents who don't have students in recovery. And I'll say this to our community, you know, our children who are on their journeys of recovery are already in our schools. Um, but unfortunately, many of them are failing in that recovery because drugs are present in our schools. And so this is a safe space. It is a nurturing space and our kids deserve our love and our support. Now the Academy will officially open on August 22nd and we'll have a link to the interest form where you can sign up if you're interested in enrolling your child. That will be at WTBR.com and we hope to learn more of those questions about transportation, more about how they'll accept students at today's Board of Supervisors meeting that begins at 2 p.m. Rob Reba. All right, thanks Caroline. Well, let's